Hey guys, Mac here and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be killing the entire server as Spain and forming the Spanish Empire. The rules to this challenge are quite simple. Always be at war and attack every player until you either take over the country or they just quit the server. With that in mind, let's get straight to the video. I start off making 4 electronic factories. Rushing electronics is still valid as long as you're the first person to sell 5 electronics to each mid-tier country in the game. And then just to find Morocco and Gibraltar since I want to be able to form the Iberian Union from the challenge rules. And I'll always be at war. Anything small countries like Gibraltar is always nice as you can get 75 million dollars from the treasury and you can use that to build your factories for you. At this point my electronic factories are finally built and I sold about 80 electronics to AI countries which gave me a nice 7 million dollar income. I made a bunch of AI countries and so I finally decided it's time to attack our first player which is the UK. The war starts off really strong with me taking out his infantry since tanks are way better in an early game than infantry. And I begin going for his capital but he manages to outspam me with tanks since he did annex Germany and the Netherlands. I prepare for a counter attack but for some reason he decides to switch everything and leave the server. With nothing to do I figure it's time to attack our first another player which is Austria and it will be super easy since my economy is good enough to afford a carrier. I land my tanks by Croatia and he tries to counter this by spamming artillery so I simply split up my tanks and auto capture to kill his artillery. Having complete naval superiority Austria simply decides to switch everything again and leave the server. Invading Iran was a pretty similar experience, he had 200,000 troops entrenched in his capital and realizing that his plan for the war was simply to turtle in his capital, I decided to take all the cities around him and force peace him because I had more than 90% of his cities. At this point killing a player just turned into having an aircraft carrier come beside the coastline so the same thing happened and Ukraine left the server after scorching everything. My next target was India so to accomplish this I simply annexed Pakistan to make it a great place to make more tanks and troops for the war. India was probably AFK so the war was really easy. However, a fan in the name of, well, me, joined the server and wanted to 1v1 me. They had to leave so not wanting to keep them waiting, I declared war. My navy was all the way at India and he had complete naval superiority in the Atlantic. So I quickly sent 12k tanks and fired the shores through the canal hoping to catch him off guard. Unfortunately, he made battleship which I thought I could also stall off but he also made a submarine and I lost all my tanks. When you're fighting wars across different continents, it's always good to check on the coastline and around the oceans to see if there are any transport ships coming your way. I noticed America's tanks coming my way and I managed to train up some clover infantry to stall off the landing then send a submarine to finish off his tanks. He does see this and he tries to land somewhere else but at this point it doesn't change anything. I built up a large enough navy to where I can easily beat the second navy by Los Angeles and also made sure to turn on equalized speed so none of his submarines can snipe my transport ships. After a very brief naval battle which really did nothing but train my navy, my troops are now able to land on Los Angeles. I began my landing and the issue with this was that I was now broke so to compensate for this fact, I simply annexed AI countries around me to get the 200 million dollar treasury that they have by now. I spat on my troops in auto capture to decrease America's stability and also sent my navy to help destroy a small line of tanks he formed. At the same time, I also made a landing at Texas to cause even more chaos. America wasn't paying attention so I sent over some tanks by Chicago to take out his factories. At the same time, I had tanks in West Africa annexing countries to claim the large treasuries which is what I think you should always do when fighting more of those communists as your war exhaustion goes down really fast. Anyways, America tries to counterattack, but I simply scorch the cities to raise more unrest and now my navy from India arrived so it was time to take out his navy in the Atlantic. Before the fight, I quickly check the odds between our navies and I see that I might have went a bit overkill. America had to leave and the war was about to be over anyway so they rammed their navy into mine. They said GG then made a peace treaty giving me all their cities except one instead of scorching the cities which was really nice. Now, there was really only one person to fight which was China. Now, I was going to attack South Africa at the same time but they just left the server so it didn't matter. There isn't much to say with the war of China so I'll just show you how it went.
declaring China, I was finally free to attack Mexico and begin forming the Spanish Empire. Now I can finally form the Iberian Union, the European Union, and finally the Spanish Empire. We also end off the game with $300 million in income. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next Smack Dead game video.